I recently received a comment on one of my videos talking about PetSmart's new line and how they think that PetSmart is possibly improving their care. So I figured that I would give you my reaction um, and opinions on their new line. This is the Nate and Jeremiah line. Um, I think Nate and Jeremiah are from a home makeover show. I don't know 100% sure, but I feel like they're probably from some HGTV type of series. So this is just what the page looks like on PetSmart. Um, they do stuff for fish, reptiles, and small pets. And I'm all obviously gonna be just focusing on small pets because I don't have fish or reptiles. They also have a YouTube video um, talking about their collection. Um, so we're gonna watch that. I haven't seen it yet. Hi, I'm Nate Burkus. Hey guys, I'm Jeremiah Brent. And we are so excited to be partnering with PetSmart for the very first ever designer designed collection for pet environments. The intention with the collection is we wanna be the bridge between design, obviously, and things that are necessary for your small pets. Mm -hmm. If we can design a collection that makes people really excited to bring those habitats right into the main living space, then we've done a good job. I'm really proud of our collection, the stands especially. Not only are they beautiful, but they're easy to transition into any home style, which I think is really important. There's really rich finishes, whether it's the foam marble on the top or the great wood stains. And there's this great bronze finish that we have on all the hardware. So it feels like something that could seamlessly blend into your home. Even though these finishes are very sophisticated right. looking, they're incredibly easy to clean. And we've added cord management, hooks for all the accessories, it's truly a partnership between our design aesthetic and PetSmart's knowledge on everything about pets. Fish need plants where they can hide, toys that they can swim through. Hiding can be important if they're feeling shy Same. or territorial. Same. Yes, you hide in our own house. Well, I think it's important that the aquariums echo the fish's natural habitat. And yeah. that's what we really tried to do by bringing okay, an abundance of texture habitat. through plants, a lot of different interesting vessels. When we were designing the reptile habitats, it was important for us that the spaces really echoed where they were from. And so the pieces that we've designed aim okay. at giving just that. Obviously, they're beautiful. Where but the they're idea from, is in making sure that habitat. these reptiles have everything they need okay. in the most beautiful way possible. The hamster. Small pet decor. It turns out that small pets just needed two small decorators. <laughs> and the intention behind everything we're doing is obviously to make it really beautiful. I'm particularly excited with our little sofas. There's a faux leather option as well as kind of what feels like a boucle. How come the fish and reptile gets, we wanted to recreate natural habitats and hamster gets faux couch? Do, do, do hamsters not come from natural wild places as well or it's only fish and reptile that super practical for any habitat yeah i know these guys probably know literally nothing about small pets so i'm not going to blame them in that sense but this is not practical at all for a hamster it's a big waste of space and it's just dangerous and then my favorite part is when something can do two things at the same time so the bent grass hide is actually a great place for your that small pet too bad. to hide and then okay. when they get hungry from hiding they can eat it all right, all right that's, that's not really how that works um <laughs> that that it's not like edible in a sense like it's gonna feed them oh my goodness <laughs> maybe they should have hired somebody who <laughs> knew somewhat about the animals <laughs> that grass tunnel sure that hamster definitely can use for hiding in and they can use for chewing that's great they're not eating it <laughs> they're gonna chew it they're not that's not the snack that's not a snack to them all right so it looks like their main focus is technically kind of more of the stands and things like that rather than 
the other care aspects like food and bedding and stuff like that which i'm kind of glad they didn't try to do something like that um so let's take a look at some of the stands so their stands actually look super aesthetically pleasing like this is what you would see in a very nice home i would say now these prices are extremely high for a stand um we've got 399 this one's 299 i think 399 is the most expensive i'm not gonna say that that's necessarily overpriced especially now that in this economy everything is expensive so it doesn't surprise me um it does look very nice um because it was built in mind for holding aquariums and things like that i am going to assume that it is a decent quality and that it's going to be able to withstand holding up a full aquarium full of water um they all have like what it what tank you can put up to so this one here you can have up to a 75 gallon aquarium on it which i think is good and i'm assuming that it's going to be able to withstand all of that weight including all of the water in it that's like an extremely heavy tank if you have all that water in it um now obviously we're not talking about fish because hamsters don't live in aquariums with water they just live in aquariums with bedding so it's quite light so that's not really something we have to worry about hamsters also don't have really cords or anything so some of these features are really not necessary i do like the storage aspect because you could put like your food and bedding and some extra toys and things like that in there um, i was thinking like maybe you could find a stand cheaper but honestly when i took a look at ikea some of their stands are quite similar in price the only one that is going to be necessarily cheaper is if you get the calyx unit which you can get for 130 dollars um and that's just that's probably gonna be your cheapest stand that you can get because the rest of the stands that would kind of look similar to the PetSmart ones they are pretty expensive like this one right here is $450 this one here this really nice one is $650 so you're looking to spend like I do think these the stand prices are pretty fair would I personally buy them probably not because my hamster enclosures are would never fit on a stand they they, they, they sit on the floor. So now let's just take a look at some of the decor that they've come out with. We did get a little sneak peek in that video. Um, this one in particular, not a fan of at all. I don't know what was going through their head. I know they thought like this is gonna be so cute and adorable. Um, and maybe for like a guinea pig, I don't even wanna say that. <laughs> it would be maybe okay, but literally any other small animal it's just it's not going to be suitable putting this faux sherpa small pet couch in like a mouse rat hamster or gerbils enclosure is not going to be a good idea because they are going to shred it these are animals who are thinking about nesting and building nests and when they see sherpa they're like Bingo bango, that's the best nesting material ever. They're gonna end up chewing the crap out of it. Um, I'm assuming inside of it probably has cotton keeping the form. That's gonna be really dangerous. Um, cotton definitely can get wrapped around limbs, um, teeth if they decide to pouch it. If they ingest any of the fabric, it could cause an internal blockage. So this is just an immediate, immediate no. Like they also mentioned in the video, they have this grass peanut hide. I actually am a fan of this one, shockingly enough, but literally because it is just dried grass. Um, we've seen these types of houses by many different brands like Night Angel and Oxbow. And I'm sure many of us have plenty of these types of hides. These are safe. They're not food, but they are safe. They also have this yurt small pet hide. I'm not sure how I really feel about it. It also, I'm not sure how it's necessarily attached to the inside of this hide because the inside is plastic and the yurt is just kind of wrapped around. So I don't know if that's just, you know, hot glued around. 
Personally, this isn't probably something that I would necessarily buy myself, especially for $30, because to me, it looks extremely like DIY. They also have some accessories for small animals. They don't have a ton, um, and they're not exactly like, I'm, I don't know if I would necessarily buy these just because I feel like I could get something better. A lot of them have pumice and I don't actually know many small animals that use pumice to chew on. If I was a hamster, I don't necessarily know if I would chew on it because pumice is like a stone and the thought of chewing on a stone literally makes my hair and my skin stand up. So the rest of these, like these wood blocks, I think these would be just like fine for a hamster. The chain link, I do kind of worry about just because I don't know how big this this little area is and a small hamster may try to fit through it and possibly get stuck I would probably more so give this to a rabbit instead of a hamster just because the risk of them getting stuck in between the links now he said I wasn't going to talk about the fish and reptile stuff but I kind of saw a glimpse of some of the things that they made for the decor and i was thinking that maybe some of these things would be suitable for hamsters possibly because they don't look too awful um it just depends on the size of these items then you probably could use it for a hamster as well like this reptile hide here looks to be a decent size um, and this could probably be used for a hamster hide as well if you're trying to add something interesting in there. Overall, do I think PetSmart is improving their care? No, I think they are just trying to market towards a different group. People who really like aesthetically pleasing looking things are definitely going to want to purchase these items. The cage setup examples they have for hamsters is literally horrible. It's just like a tank with some bedding in it, not even deep bedding. They had the opportunity to put a nice hamster setup enclosure on the stand and they just went ahead and just they missed the mark on that one. So those are my thoughts on PetSmart's new line. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!